Ow. Ow. Too hot. Oh my god, it's too hot. Oh! Ah, better. butter, green onion, sliced beef, soy sauce, garlic, pepper, honey, garlic salt, and a cast iron skillet. Now let's get started with that one cup of rice. We're gonna give this baby a rinse. Here, let me give you some relaxing waterfall sounds. <laughs> Just kidding, sounds like more like down the sewer, down the drain kind of sound. After a waterfall for three times, we're gonna do that one to one cup ratio of water. And again, do you get your rice cooker like I said last time? Make sure you get one, otherwise I don't know how to teach you. And now let's listen to that magical sound. For that buttery corn, all we really need is butter and corn because it's buttery corn. Butter, corn, butter, corn, butter, corn. Now that we know the difference between the corn and butter, you want to take that knob of butter, throw in half a cup of corn, and heat it up. It doesn't need to cook all the way through because it's gonna sizzle on that sizzling plate later on. Now for that delicious homemade honey soy garlic sauce. We need about 1 4 of a cup of garlic chopped. You wanna saute this until it's 50% cooked. This will remove the rawness from the garlic. 3 tablespoons soy sauce. 1 tablespoon your sweetest honey buns. <laughs> 1 cup of water. And we're gonna reduce this down to about 50%. Caramelizing the sauce and making it nice and thick. I'm telling you right now, the sauce is like literally the bomb. So try it out, even if it's not for this pepper lunch. You can literally add this to anything. And lastly, we need that green onion. This will add that nice freshness to it. And honestly, if you add green onion to anything, it makes it look so much better. Get a piece of poop, put some green onion on it, and they're like, wow, chocolate fudge. Okay, maybe that's exaggerating, but you get the point. <laughs> Dude, am I balding right now? What is that? Oh my god, I can't, I cannot with this. Whatever, back to the food. And now it's time for the sizzling part. You can use any cast iron for this. I personally use my Vietnamese skillet because that's really the only skillet I have, but feel free to use a normal round one. You wanna get your cast iron nice and hot. You probably noticed that I made this more in a hot pot style, and that's really because I can and because I want to. But really, this will keep the cast iron nice and hot and the bottom of the rice will get nice and crispy. Now to be able to assemble this, we're gonna form these rice balls and shove into these seven holes. Now let's count everyone. One hole, two hole, three hole, four hole, five hole, six hole, seven hole. Yay, you did it! Afterward, you wanna poke a hole in the middle, shove as much buttery corn as you can into that hole, and then we'll sprinkle this with some green onion on top, just in that delicious homemade sauce that you made. And last but not least, let's grab that thinly sliced beef and carefully and delicately wrap them around the rice balls. And of course, how can you have pepper lunch without pepper? Sprinkle in that pepper. And now I like to turn the heat up to form that beautiful crust on the bottom. Something you probably can't do when you're at the real pepper lunch. So, you're welcome. All right, everyone, pepper lunch, pepper lunch, pepper lunch, pepper lunch. I figured out a hack for this, given that my sizzling plate wasn't like their sizzling plate, so I basically just made a hot pot style. So this is our hot pot sizzling plate pepper lunch. Let's dig in, yay! I'm actually gonna heat this up again, because now it's cold. Adding some extra sauce to make it extra saucy. Hear that sizzle, 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 sizzle. Let's try this out. Oh my god, so good. 